here with Greg Hackett, boxer trainer. What's good, man? I'm fine, man. Monday. Right back to work. You had a fight this past weekend. How'd it go? Um, lost on the cards. They called me Thursday night, weighed in Friday or Saturday. It was a rematch. Actually, a guy I had I had just beat not too long ago. Um, it was I came in 10 pounds heavier than I was for the last one. I didn't feel bad, but things, you know, of course shit changed. He made adjustments. He took his time. This fight, I mean, he worked, he worked behind his jab a little bit, tried to keep his distance a little more. Um, good fight. I got knocked down for the second time in my career, 23 fights. Only the second time I ever been knocked down. It was like a flash knockdown. I didn't go out on my back or nothing. Second round, um, got up, finished the fight, and they gave the decision to him. But I, you know, I'm cool though. <laughs> the first fight, it was a wild decision, right? Yeah, I got him. Like one judge had me all arounds, and then gave me all arounds, and then the other two judges gave me three out of the four. The yeah. other four. You consistently fighting taller dudes. He had you about like four or five inches. Yeah. Why you like fighting taller guys? It's been like that all my life. I really, it's really not on me. I'm only five six standing up, so I'm only. Um, I think only one time I might have fought a guy my, my size height wise, but everybody taller than me, shit. Especially because the weights I fight. That's why. What you fighting at now? One sixty eight. No, first? this last jump was a cruiserweight bout. The last cruiserweight. Two, yeah, Damn. I've been from forty seven all the way up to cruiserweight shit like that. So. What's the biggest difference between a 147 and cruise weight besides the obvious? It's just the body. It's just, it's just the body mass. Like when you when you got a guy that big laying on you, you know what I'm saying? It, it, that more so wear you out. And when you fight at 47, it's more so the speed that you got to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the difference. How drastic is the skill level? The difference? It's about the same to me. It's just the speed difference. That's the only thing that gets me. It's like, all right, now I got to be, be a little quicker. But the skill level... It don't really change too much. You know what I mean? All right. Which um which division do you prefer to stay at? Like which week? If I could pick 54, I think I'm fast and strong at 54. You know what I mean? I think I can feel my speed and my power at 54. Can you can you make it all the way back down? <laughs> I could. It, it just it just discipline, man. You know how it go. Any, anything you gotta have discipline, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have the discipline, then it's gonna be hard. Yeah, but if they keep calling you on short notice, ain't no way you're gonna be able to make yeah. it down. I mean, well, it's my fault for taking it. By taking it is on me, but I, I just love the fight. So, I mean, when they call me with shit, God, and after negotiating it, if I, if I like how everything sounds, shit, I'm taking it. You got plans on fighting the guy again? This yeah, they actually, work. actually, what they're trying to do is have us fight one more time. Uh, they said the rubber match, August 23rd, I think. Down back down in Maryland. What's the contract week? Um, probably, probably gonna be like 190, something like that.